business first. Then all the stuff we worry about gets added onto us, right? Um, so we don't have to worry about the closeness of our youth group because when we're seeking God first together, that comes. And we don't have to worry about having inner peace or getting our daily bread because when we're seeking God first, those things come. Um, and I just want to say thank you for everyone who supports us going to Montreat because it was just this beautiful reminder for all of us adults and youth to see what happens when we surrender our life and our time and when we are the church together every day. Um, so I encourage anyone who can to come and be a part of this. And more than that, I encourage us as a church to continue to do that and um, just to continue to seeking God and continue um, being in church together every day. And I want to thank you guys for how you've done that in my life. Yeah, that's all. You got more? Yeah. <laughs> now, I know you guys are saying right now, why is this full back up here? Um, um, there were two very important moments that I forgot to mention. Uh, one having to do with Stuart, and one with Matt. Uh, I'll, I'll start with Stuart so that you forget what he said when I talk about Matt. Um, this was a joke I want to clarify. Stuart cracked a joke, and it gave me a heart attack. Uh, there were some people that were like working with the um, conference, I guess, or worked at Montreat, and I didn't have my shoes on. I was walking back with Stuart, um, and they were like, I had my fur hat on, and they were like, oh, we like your hat, but I would like it a lot more if you wore your shoes. And I was like, I was like, but, but it's my, I was kind of like fighting back, but not really, and so... I told them that I would put my shoes on when I got back to the house because I didn't have them with me, because I didn't. And Stuart comes in, just sounded so serious, and it terrified me. He said, you're not his mother, you can't tell him what to do. <laughs> I, I, I froze in fear when he said that. I, I, I immediately said, he's a freshman, he's new, he doesn't understand, he doesn't understand how this works. And it clarified it was a joke, and she kind of just brushed it off, and I was like, oh my lord, so <laughs> Um, so, yeah, that was fun. Um, and then Matt. So, so I, I in no way am mad at Matt with this. I was a little upset, but I'm totally fine now, it's fine. Um, so we were rock hopping, right, and Matt had all our phones in a Ziploc bag. You know, so if we fell in the water, they would be fine. Um, they did not, however, have rock protection. So Matt, at some point while we were rock hopping, fell on his, I guess, where his, where the plastic bag was, and shattered my phone screen. Like, the whole thing was just, it was like a rainbow array of digital terror, terrible. It was awful. Um, his phone got a crack in the back of it, and Stuart's phone was shielded by ours. Um, so I did not have a phone for the next half of the week. And at first I was like, oh, it's going to be awful. But it really, like, I really got back into it. Like, I didn't need my phone. Because I was at Montreat, and why do you need a phone in Montreat? Like, yeah. So, sorry to waste your time. Um, yeah, I will come up again. Well, I just want to thank you all for allowing this space for everyone to tell their stories, to share their stories, it's important. And, uh, and we are very grateful to this church for supporting us, supporting our youth ministry and allowing us to, to have experiences like Montreal. And we're just very grateful and we're very blessed to, to be a part of this, this church family. And so thank you all. So we would like to um, sing our theme song. And I apologize, I meant to teach this to you before we started this morning. So. We'll just, you'll, you'll get it, you'll, you'll flow with it here in a minute, so I think you'll enjoy it. So if you all would just stand and join us, and the song is in your bulletin. It's a world of difference.
teaching and join me in the affirmation of faith. We believe that God is present in the darkness before dawn, in the waiting and uncertainty. Where fear and courage join hands, conflict and care in the arms, and the sun rises over barbed wire. We believe in a with us God, who sits down in our midst to share our humanity. We affirm a faith that takes us beyond a safe place. Into action, into vulnerability, and onto the streets. We commit ourselves to work for change and put ourselves in the line to bear responsibility, take risks, and face humiliation. To stand with those on the edge, to choose life and be used by the Spirit for God's new community of hope. Please be seated. Our offering is a chance to say to others, you matter to God and so you matter to me too. It's a chance to make a difference. It's a chance to share God's love. Let us give generously and gracefully.
You have given us so much, God. Help us to take this offering and use it for the world's good and for your glory. Help us each day to do better and be better than we were the day before. Help us that we might be beacons of hope in a world that is longing for life. This is our offering and this is our prayer. Amen. sunshine and for the fresh air, uh, grateful for the beauty of youth and for all that the youth have to teach us. We're grateful for the beauty of our hearts and souls and spirits uh, as those spirits are bound together in your spirit. And we pray that uh, in the strength of your beauty and your offer to us of all that is beautiful that we might be of service to one another. Indeed, O oh God, we pray, help us to make a difference in our world. We pray for the needs around us, uh, especially for those who have been ill and those who continue. Uh, we pray especially for Emily Perkins uh, as her life uh, seems to be coming to an end and we ask that you will bless her and that, uh, that glorious transition and the hope we have of heaven, we pray extend that to her and to her mind and heart. We pray also for others who have been in the hospital and give uh, thanks for healing where we see that uh, taking place. Uh, we do thank you for Joanne Robinson and ask also that you will bless her with the assurance that comes with uh, faith, faith and eternal life. Lord, we, each of us in our own way, could uh, point to stories in which uh, you have been very present and your power has been made known to us. And so we're grateful today for the stories from Montreal, for they have indeed been reminders to us uh, of your goodness and your grace, uh, which is for us. Thank you, O God, that you are a loving God and tender to us in every way. We ask that you'll continue to bless our church and to give us what we need. But most of all, we pray that you will bless us to be a blessing to one another. We ask that you'll hear us now as we pray together the prayer our Lord has taught us all, and we say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. 
stand for the sending him. Just follow me on this one. The lyrics aren't in there, but I think you know. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, is that uh, uh, what a great experience it is for the kids and I, it always makes me remember how wonderful it was when my son Reed would come home and how, how blessed he seemed by all that experience and, and so I appreciate those memories. But bless the food that we are about to receive for the nourishment of our body and our souls and thank you all for being here and let's get ready to eat. Amen. Amen. Lunchtime! Woo! 